We are live right now at a Buffalo Teachers Federation rally. There are hundreds of teachers here right now. You can see uh, behind me, and actually a bus just pulled up, uh, so I, I'm gonna flip this around. Hang on one second. These teachers say they haven't been paid uh, properly for over 12 years. They haven't had a new contract for over 12 years. And they say it really comes down to the money. They say they are about twenty to $25,000 less than if they were to go to a suburban school right now. And as you can see, these teachers are actually blocking um, blocking this. board meeting later on today and I did talk to the board and they say what the teachers are asking for is unconscionable. They say that um, that what the uh, union is trying to advocate for is really uh, not going to happen. And they say that the negotiations that happened on Monday were unsuccessful. So that is why these teachers are out here today and they are holding signs saying a new contract now and walking across the walk over this way where traffic is backed up here in Niagara Square because teachers are flooding the streets. Uh, we are seeing so many teachers here, possibly more than were anticipated to come out to this right now. And as you can see, cars here uh, at Niagara Square are backed up as Buffalo police work to try to get the teachers out of the street. Uh, this police officer here is trying to get the teachers out of the street. Uh, there is a green light right now, so these cars should be able to go. Uh, now the police officer is directing traffic. We're seeing these teachers uh, really advocating for what they believe. because it is getting a little wild out here. Um, but, you know, these teachers, again, advocating for uh, what they believe they need, more money, and they say they need it now. So uh, this contract deal has not been done for 12 years, despite a lot of negotiating uh, between both parties. So uh, we're working on talking to some teachers right now. We're also going to talk to uh, the Buffalo Teachers Federation President, uh, Phil Rumor, in a little while, as well as attend the Buffalo School Board meeting later. Now, I did talk to school board member Carl Palladino, who tells me today that uh, at the meeting, they are going to divulge what the contract that they were willing to offer the Buffalo Teachers Federation was. And they will. Uh, he says that the community will find out that it was a good deal. So um, teachers are once again flooding the streets here. here in Niagara Square in front of Buffalo City Hall right now and there are just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of teachers here and I believe Buffalo Police is calling for uh, a little bit more backup here to calm this traffic and uh, figure this situation here out. So we will be live here in Niagara Square at 5 o'clock. We hope you can join us here on 7 Eyewitness News. I am Hannah Bueller for Facebook Live. We'll be back with you at 5 o'clock.